invite you to take my company into a much more of a CRM strategy. Scotty, can you help me out? Thanks for the question, Deborah. Consumers interact with brands differently, so each market segment that's here at the DMA requires a little different approach to earning loyalty. We give you a reason to communicate with customers every single month. Access development helps increase customer relationships by engaging them with relevant content. So we would offer a, a slightly different approach for each of the major market segments that are here at the DMA. So for example, let's say you're a media company. We might provide a membership package that offers exclusive access to content and deals where you can expand your brand and produce income streams outside of advertisers. Let's say you're a, a membership club. Adding a private label discount program to your membership club gives a reason to have a positive daily interaction with the club that they'll remember when it's time to pay their dues. Let's say you're a, a call center. You've got customers on the line. Instead of taking your chunk of the change and sending them along their way, focus on adding a sticky, high conversion, valuable upsell that creates long-term incremental revenue streams, typically much longer than other industry continuity programs. Thank you very much. I'd like to try. First, first I want to understand why. If you have a marketing uh, database, we want to understand what data elements already exist in that database. Let's start at the back end of this. Let's try to understand what your customer expects from you, meaning I'm going to have a CRM program. Well, why is that? What are they going to get out of it? Why are we going to develop that? That's number one. As we step into it and find out that the data is available for us to do some interesting things, meaning communicate with these people on a relevant basis, we then will create a plan of tactics over a period of time, which will include a test strategy. We will then test each element, continue to try to understand if those elements make sense for what we're trying to gain, which hopefully is a greater share of that customer's mind or wallet. After we've gone through that whole process, then we can talk about what tactics are best to use. Do we use some kind of loyalty generating discount program? Do we put four color on something? Do we do something you know, higher end or lower end, depending on the person that we're trying to uh, communicate with and build a relationship with? At the end of the day, it's what works best for your client's needs. How will, they, how will we be able to grow them within your, within your business? Thank you. Deborah, how can your company help me with a CRM strategy? Debbie, one of the things that we really need to understand, and, and I'm going to echo a lot of what Michael just said, is, is understanding why you're doing this and what information already exists about your customers that you're using in that marketing strategy. How are you going to build loyalty and engagement with a CRM strategy? What do you already know about those customers? So the first thing we would do is go through a discovery process and think about some of the things like, who are those customers? How do you transact, with, how do they transact with you now? And identify tiers, a tier structure, T-I-E-R, not make them cry. Um, a tier structure for those customers, are they frequent customers? Are they customers who only buy from you when you're running a sale? Are they lapsed customers, inactive customers? And then we would work with you to develop a segmentation strategy for those customers because ultimately what's most important is developing a communication plan with them. And for those who had a chance to look at the study that Forrester just published on the state of loyalty programs, one of the things that they talked about was the need to shift from transactions and coupons to engagement and emotion, and we would help you do that. Thank you. I feel like I can hardly wait to hear about your solution. Tell well, us more. My, my thunder's been stolen here three times, so uh, it, in my experience, marketing databases are, are generally used for pulling lists and for general contact, customer contact strategies. And, so let's assume that your marketing database was recently uh, passed a uh, data governance, recently cleansed and updated. But your database has not been split by lifestyle attributes, purchasing frequency, product category, or monetary value. 
So by adopting a CRM strategy and using data enhancement tactics such as overlaying external demographic data to your database, you'll be able to identify specific attributes about your customers and determine which are more relevant for your brand and messaging strategy. But by combining these attributes with ongoing capture of customer purchase behavior and opt-in data, you can build profiles of your customers and begin to split them into groups. So customer profiles become the foundation of building effective CRM communication strategies. And segmentation leads them to further customer insights that will make CRM strategy planning much more actionable. So now that we know who the customer is, we're going to know what to say to the customer. We're going to know how customers prefer to be contacted, um, what they buy, and what categories, how often they buy, and what the value of that customer is. But more importantly, these strategies and results of what the doc. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I have another question, though. What's the one thing you bring to the table that no one else can manage? Scotty, can we start off with you? Thank you. So Access is able to create a, a daily relevance for any brand. We help clients generate and increase revenue by helping them increase their acquisition or retention efforts or creating an upsell package. Everyone loves saving money in, in this industry, but finding decent local deals isn't always easy to do. We offer the nation's largest private discount network with over 300,000 brick and mortar merchant discount locations that includes over 99% of the country's population. Designed to build constant positive interactions with your brand and consumers. So instead of pushing marketing messages on customers, we allow you to pull your brand into customers and help them save money on everyday purchases. Creating brand awareness, customer loyalty, engagement, and usage. With Access, um, we've heard that it takes over 50 or more impressions before a consumer has moved to a purchase. We like to think that we get you there much quicker than just about any other method. It's all because of the daily relevance that your brand will be providing with Access as the Invisible Engine. Thank you. Michael, tell me, tell me more. One thing? One thing only. Just one thing? Only one. One thing? Tell me more. Um, the age of the owner. That's probably the best thing I've got. Um, this, this one's really difficult because there's a lot of great solutions. These are, you know, we have four good companies here and everybody's doing great things. If there's one thing that we try to do differently that we look at is we focus more on the front end of a program. Before we go in and say, here's our solution, here's the best way to do it, we try to understand how our clients make money. And then if this is how you're gonna make money, then what parts of that customer relationship management program have to be Right, how, how do we get people to move? How do we get people to do what you want them to do? That's what we focus on. We focus on the front end, focus on the data, look at the analytics, the front end, and then try to build the most cost-effective solution for your challenge. So, thanks. Thank, thank you very much. Zebra, tell us about the one thing that you bring to the table that no one else can manage. The one thing, and as Michael alluded to, and tried to get out of the one thing answer. And I'm going to get out of that by saying that the one thing we bring to the table is the combination. So the one thing is the combination of our experience, our capabilities, and our creative solutions. And it's really, we refer to it as the whole ball of wax. That's what IWCO Direct brings to the table, has been bringing to the table in different ways for more than 40 years. And not sure how many people were at the keynote presentation this morning that Terry Jones did, but one of the things he said was that innovation is bringing ideas to work, and that's what our combination of capabilities, creativity, and experience does that's different from everybody else. Thank you very much. Gil, can you wrap that one up for me? Absolutely. Um, SPC innovated a proprietary inline web-based four-color hybrid imaging and printing solution to support our customers' CRM communication strategies. And this process that we call 4CHI combines the speed and versatility of inline web printing with the fidelity of traditional full-color variable digital printing. A retail partner utilizes SPC's four-color 
hybrid imaging capabilities to execute a CRM strategy in the pet, pet food category and created a pet lover's mailer that, that was printed in image in four color variable print, um, variable printing, pet product coupons that were that offered specific offers based on a purchase history and the type of pet in the household. Uh, uh, customer purchase history data was also segmented by dog owners, uh, pet cat owner, uh, cat owners, dog and cat owners, and other pet presence of other pets in the household. And SPC optimized the data and enabled a four-color hybrid personalization of product images and relevant coupon offers. The results of the campaign were impressive. We delivered a fully customized mailer with a valuable variable coupon offers that pet lovers really wanted and could use. In other words, being relevant, giving customers what they want, and the innovation of our printing solution. Thank you very much.